up until this point, everything you've done, we haven't done graphing yet in this class, but we will. You always start as this is zero, right? Do you know, remember that? And then you sort of rotate this way. Bearings are different. Bearings, so if we're going to mark this as a compass, that's north. Where's south? Opposite from north. Where's east? On the right. And then west is there. Okay. Now, north in bearings is zero. And then you go counter, or you go clockwise, sorry. So, how many degrees are in a circle? So if you went all the way around, you'd be back at 360 there. So that north is either 0 or 360. It's the same thing. What would east be? What would this angle here be? Let's try what? Okay, let's try south. If I said go south, what would this angle here be? 180. So what would east be? What would west be? 270. Right? So every quadrant is 90 degrees. 90, 90, 90, 90. Okay. So if you say, so remember, you measure from north, which is zero, and then you go clockwise, and every quadrant is 90 degrees. So if somebody says, on a bearing of 150, actually, I drew it down here. On a bearing of 150, this is your north and your zero. You know this is 90. You know this is 180. So 150 is somewhere in the middle or in there, right? Okay, so this whole angle is 150 degrees. So my question to you is, what is that angle? What's the whole angle? It's 150, right? What is this angle here? 90. So if I go 150, which is the whole thing, minus that, you get 60 degrees. So this angle is 60 degrees. Does that make sense? All right. What is this angle? No, from this arm, from here to there, what is that angle? Why? So if it's 150 all the way to there, and it's 180 all the way to there, the difference between those is? One eighty minus one fifty is thirty. The other way you could have thought about it is if this is sixty, what does one quadrant have to be? Has to be ninety, right? So if that's sixty, that has to be thirty. All right. The next one. Two hundred and twenty-five degrees. So we know that this is one eighty. So 225, and this is 270. So 225 is somewhere between them. All right. What's that angle? How do you get that? That'll give you the, well, in this case, it'll give you the right angle, but it's because yeah. it's equal on either side. But yeah. 225 minus that 180 should give you that angle there, which is 45 degrees. 
Because it's divided in half, yeah. But if you did it 270 minus that on any other angle, you'd get it wrong. Yeah. You minus the 180. The part you know, you take away from it, and that gives you the unknown part. All right. Okay. 330 degrees. You've gone all the way past 270, but you haven't quite made it to 360, which is there. What's that angle? So that angle is going to be 360, because it's 360 all the way, right? But I want to take away all of this, because that will leave me this bit. 360 minus 330 is 30 degrees. And then if that is 30, this has to be 60 degrees. All right. This is not about high level math. It's just about some logic right now. Okay. So I have, let me stop this for one sec. All right. On the sheet I just gave you, they want you to draw the angle, the bearing. So where do we always start from? North. So I'll just put it up here. North is there, and that is zero degrees. East is there. What's east? Is 90 degrees. South is 180, and west is 270. Okay. So if I ask you to draw a bearing of 30 degrees, 0, 3, 0. All they're asking you to do, do a little plus sign, cross, whatever you want to call it. 30 degrees. Have I got, gotten to east? No. So it's in the first, it's in the first quadrant, if you're calling it quadrants. But so all you do is you draw a little line. That's it. That's your bearing. Where does the 30 go? Right there. Because it's always from third or from north. So if you're at north, I say go on a bearing of 30 degrees, you aim your plane, your boat, or whatever, and then this is 30. Okay? Let's do one more. Let's do eight, and then I'll let you do them on your own. So eight, 259. Where am I if we're 259? Third quadrant. So down here, between west and south. So just draw it in the middle. I don't really care if you draw it in the middle. Now, where is the 259? Where do you always measure from? North, right? So you go to north and you measure 259. So this angle all the way to there is 259 degrees. Does that make sense? You're making the little cross sign, plus sign, whatever you want to call it, and then filling in the angle, okay? All right, go please.